Did you know that 13 common age-old English idioms have relevance to hair loss and hair transplant as well? These idioms give us an insight about life's lessons learned over many years and may be priceless for those researching a hair transplant for themselves. Play the cards you are served. The donor area characteristics are determined by the genes you inherit. So if you have extensive baldness and the donor supply is limited, you have to plan your hair restoration properly lest you run out of grafts in the future. Don't build castles in the air, be rational with realistic expectations. If your donor is limited and the baldness extensive, you will not get the hairline that Tom Cruise has. Don't miss the forest for the trees. Years of hair loss and progressive baldness lie ahead especially if you are young and you need to plan ahead rather than get lower hairlines and fantastic densities that will compromise your scalp donor and the number of spare grafts for the future. Put on your thinking cap since enough people out there trying to sell ice to Eskimos and combs to bald men. Don't compare apples with oranges. But at the same time don't pay an arm and a leg for the procedure. Do not try to maximize your transplant abroad by getting maximum number of grafts possible to save on future travel. This attempt to kill two birds with one stone may come back to haunt. Your donor area is not infinite. Also there is a limit to which the donor can be harvested in a given session. Overharvesting will lead to significant donor site aesthetic defects which are impossible to correct. Never chase a rainbow, do not have unrealistic irrational expectations or fall for false promises. Or else you will find yourself between a rock and a hard place. But if this happens to you and all has gone wrong for you, don't worry for most clouds do have a silver lining. Well, thank you for watching, and if you have any questions or any suggestion to make we would be happy if you were to leave a comment below.